and let the world know what is happening in the states, but particularly my federal constituency. Before now, you know my stand about insecurity and how, as a member of House of Reps, as a member of the Adult Committee on Arms for Chess, what we have done to make sure that we support the government, support the military, the police, so that they can curtail what is going on in this country. But recently, in Imo State, so many issues, security challenges has been on. And I want to tell you that we've had casualties. Some of my constituents killed and we expect the police, the army, the military to unravel the killers of these people. These are innocent citizens. I am aware that the family of one of these constituents of mine has written a petition to the Nigerian army. We lost a young man until his death owns a shawarma shop just to make ends meet. He was shot by the army. The reason that he could not obey the rules at the checkpoint. We've left it. We've written to, the, the family has written to the Nigerian army, like I have said. But I want to tell you that we, as the people of Abombi Senghobana, we are not happy about that. And as a representative of my people, for us, I want to make it known to the world that we are waiting for the outcome of that petition. And that as a representative of the people, I am giving the Nigerian army 14 days, 14 days to respond to the killing of that gentleman who left a pregnant and expectant mother, that is his wife, and then two children, one is three, one is two. What will become of those children, even the one that is yet unborn? And I want to also draw the attention of the world that for the fact we gave government our land to build their port does not make us criminals. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Gulag, Ahmed Gulag, whom we respect, was killed on his way to the airport. The police has said that they have, they, 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 they have killed the people that killed Ahmed Gulag. And the government has also come up to say that it is politically motivated. These are two conflicting statements. One, the alleged that the ESN killed Gulag, and that those people that killed Gulag has been killed. We saw pictures. But the government came up to say that some people tried him from his hotel in Oweri down to the particular place he was killed. The question we are asking the security agents, why are you after my people? What crime did we commit that the man was shot close to the airport? We host the airport. Does that mean we are the killers of Ahmed Gulak? The answer is no. We are not killers. But if anything happens on our land, 
the police should take their time to investigate and unravel the perpetrators of these crimes. I have pictures, I have videos of people being killed. Our people can no longer sleep in their houses. People call me, my consultants call me from the bush to say, Honorable, speak for us. The world should hold the security agents responsible if my people are killed. There is nothing wrong in arresting people. There is nothing wrong in investigation. There is nothing wrong in unraveling the killers or sponsors of this hideous crime. But the issue is, let the innocent people be free. It is enshrined in the Constitution, freedom of movement. I have pictures where the military went to my constituency in New York, to be precise. Destroyed shops owned by Nigerians, owned by my constituents, cutted away their goods. What have we done? What crime did we commit? Good luck, um, good luck left away. So if you want to arrest my people, the meaning is that you have to start that arrest from the hotel, from Oweri, where he left. Gentlemen of the press, I can no longer keep quiet. These people elected me to speak for them. Please, please, I beg the security agents, I beg the authorities, to please allow my people in peace. If you, have a, if you have made some arrest, if you have killed some people as a result of this crime, why are you still haunting my constituents? Why is it that these people are not allowed to sleep in their houses? Sorry. These people are not allowed to sleep in their houses. I came out and I condemned the killers of Gulag. He is a true Nigerian. For him to have left his comfort zone to our place, that is exhibiting one nation, one country. Everybody is free to move. But if the police is still investigating, or they say they have killed, and the government has said they have made some arrests, please let them leave my people alone. And then I talked about the Mr. Chibu, whom the army killed. I have pictures, videos, to even an Okada operator that was shot. What did we do wrong? That we host the airport, that we are close to the airport, does not make us criminals. We've been keeping quiet. We gave land to the Air Force, to the Nigerian Air Force. We know how that land was taken. My people wanted to make trouble out of it. But we said, no, this is government. As I talk to you up to now, there's no MOU with the owners of those of the land. The host communities. The other day they came here with a petition. In the last house, in the last house, a petition from these people, the host communities of Salmon Baku International Cargo Airport, brought a petition. The House resolved and mandated all the agencies that are operating in that airport 
to have an MOU with these people and make sure that they are protected by social responsibility. And make sure that things that belong to them, that ordinarily should go to my people, should go to them. Up to now, nothing has happened. They came up with another petition to remind the House that these agencies have refused to obey the resolutions of the House. We are law-abiding, very peaceful people. I don't know why they should come after us. The other day was the Navy. Because we share a boundary. Where the Navy is, is at the boundary between us and Abia states. Youths were also killed. On that note, I want to thank you for this opportunity. And please, once again, tell them to allow my people. Let us have rest. Let my people come back from the bush so that they can live happily with their families. Thank you and God bless you.